all of us, all of us, and particularly those of us who represent the world's largest economies, we have to step up. You know, those that do take action and make bold investments in their people and clean energy future will win the good jobs of tomorrow and make their economies more resilient and more competitive. Japan will advance the transition to a circular economy, thereby creating new industries and employment. Japan will continue its unceasing efforts toward 2030 and 2050. So today, I want to emphasize the importance of lifestyle change in climate action. Sustainable lifestyles and guiding philosophy of back to basic must be an important pillar of our economic strategy for the post. I want to leave you with the thought that uh, we can build back better from this pandemic by building back greener. And don't forget that the UK's uh, the UK has been able to cut our own CO2 emissions by about 42% on 1990 levels, and uh, we've seen our economy grow uh, by 73%. You can do both uh, at once. Not long ago, the Chinese and US sides released a joint statement addressing the climate crisis. China looks forward to working with the international community, including the United States, to jointly advance global environmental governance. Poor countries have historically contributed least to global emissions. Developing countries often suffer the most from the devastating effects of climate change, particularly in the form of drought, extreme storms and rising sea levels, as well as floods. Consequently, developed economies we hold the view, have a responsibility to support developing economies to enable them to mitigate and adapt to climate change. There is only one goal for the coming weeks and months, to move more quickly. We need to move more quickly to implement the commitments for 2030, a plan of action that is clear, measurable, and verifiable. Our new climate target for 2030 is to reduce our 2005 emission levels by 40 to 45 percent. And we will continually strengthen our plan and take even more actions on our journey to net zero by 2050.